again, Brian with TAD Software. We're going to do a walkthrough of our dispositions today. So let's start by clicking on disposition, which you have the option to do from the left over here, or you also have to have the option to do it from your dashboard, which is up at the upper right hand corner right here. So let's go ahead and click on the left one. That takes us to our dispositions, and this will show all of the dispositions that you have done. So let's go ahead and add a disposition. We're going to choose who that, or sorry, where that firearm is going to be disposed from, and I'm going to choose Trigger Trip 1, and we're going to select a buyer. Now, as of right now, I have a list of just two buyers, which is me, and then I put Big Fake. Um, so let's choose Big Fake. We don't have a specific event that we're going to use on this one, and I'm going to choose location of Queen Creek, which is where I'm located, and in Arizona. This is not a pawn redemption, and that's important that you select that because it will automatically put that into the 4473. So now let's go up to this upper right hand corner here of this pop-up and choose add item. This is going to bring up a list of your existing firearms that are currently in stock and you'll be able to see that status over on the far right hand. Let's go ahead and choose the P415 rifle. And most of the information I'm putting in here is, is fake so it's, it's not uh, firearms accurate. So let's do add disposition. At this point your customer is going to answer these questions. There's these standard questions that have to be answered. So let's go ahead and put down uh, yes and then go ahead and answer each one of these correctly. A yes on any of these will actually stop your disposition and not allow you to move forward. That's up to the customer to answer. The very next screen it's going to take you to is the <clears throat> is the NICS background check, which is going to be right here. If you are required to put in the Brady ID, that's where you put that right there, and then the examiner's name if you make a phone call. Very, very soon, though, we will be having a one-click background check, which will be quite nice. All of that information will be automatic. It should take us about 90 seconds to get a response. For those of you who have waited on phone on the phone with ATF agents for longer than 20 minutes, yeah, you're going to like it. So for this particular one, let's put down that we have a valid permit. I'm going to put down that I have an Arizona CCW, which is obviously the concealed carry permit. We're going to click on this spot right here to put down what the issue date of that permit is. So let's choose 2014, March 4th, and then the CCWs here in Arizona are a five year, so that's 2019, March 4th is when that expires. Now we are ready to move forward. In the event that you do a background check, you would actually do all of that through this spot, this spot right here that says Nix. You'd be making a phone call and uh, soon we'll have the integration with the electronic background check that you currently have access to through the FBI Nix. Let's go ahead and save that. Now our disposition is completed. What we're doing now is we need to print off that form. You click on that link, it shows a 4473 completed with all of the information in it that you need. You'll go ahead and print this off, sign it right here. Your customer sign and date that, and then you will sign your title and date as a normal 4473, and you are done. And once again, thank you for using TAD Software, your FFL software provider.